Oh, hello there, everybody. Welcome to your eighth tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to get started by talking to you guys about the hand tool. Now, we already covered the magnifying glass tool, and the hand tool is actually right above it, this little icon. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and open the document. It doesn't really matter what image you choose. And go ahead and zoom in so it takes up most of the screen. Now, the reason I want to do this is because it's easier to demonstrate the hand tool shortcut H on your keyboard if you have an image that's huge and zoomed in. So go ahead and select your hand tool and it's very easy to work with. The purpose of the hand tool is to let you move around the document. Now there are a couple ways you can move around the document. Whenever you zoom in far enough you get scroll bars on the right hand side and on the bottom right here that helps you move around the document but the hand tool allows you to do this much easier just go ahead and click on the document or the picture and drag it so as you can see just by moving your mouse it's a whole lot easier than you know maybe you wanted to paint this eye a different color than going okay click this click this and okay click this you can just go ahead grab that hand tool bam look at that now the hand tool also has a sub tool with this button and it's called the rotate view tool so in order to use this pretty much just click on the image and whenever you do you see a compass appear all this does is pretty much rotates your image now of course the red part on the compass whenever you're moving it that points to whatever original part was up well you guys can probably see it's pretty much represents north on your image now aside from just doing this manually we can also do is say you want to rotate this image 90 degrees exactly you can go up to the top right here type in 90 and it pops right to 90 like that so once you're done moving everything around and you have the rotation tool selected just go ahead and press reset view or you can just go ahead and enter zero and it's going to reset your view now of course to get this back zoomed in 100 percent just double click your magnifying glass and bam you're good to go so that's pretty much uh, all there is to using the hand tool another thing actually I want to demonstrate I should have demonstrated this earlier but let's go ahead and zoom back in again another cool thing you can do when using um, the hand tool is or I, I should probably rather say this whenever you're using another tool and I know that I only talked to you guys about um, the zoom tool in the hand tool right now but if you're ever using like a paintbrush or something to you know yada yada maybe I'm gonna put um, my name right here B U C K Y if you're ever using another tool and you want to switch to the hand tool real quick and you're too lazy to go all the way down here and click the hand tool or press H on your keyboard you can go ahead and hold in the space bar on your keyboard so check this out painting with a paintbrush holding in space bam switch to the hand tool now as long as you have space held in on your keyboard you can go ahead and use this hand tool maybe I want to paint his nose blue really space on my keyboard bam switch backs it switches back to the last tool that you used so remember those few things the hand tool is H it's a lot easier than using the you know scroll bars on the right hand side and on the bottom the rotate tool is cool whenever you want to rotate it and you can also enter the value manually at the top and whenever you want to switch to the hand tool real quick from another tool just go ahead and hold on the space bar you got your hand tool you can move around release it and you get your tool back super easy super quick super efficient so in the next tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to work with multiple documents and I'm gonna be showing you guys lots of cool tricks so thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll see you in the next video